Hey guys, I'm LB. And, uh, in the distance, I hear what sounds like a conveyor belt. What is going on with the shadows there? I don't think that's how shadows work. <laughs> what the heck? Why are those shadows moving like that? That is bizarre. Anyway, this is Robotic Retribution 2 by Goopster. Uh, uh, they sent me 1, 2, and 3 before I ever made the video on the first one, so... I don't know how much improvement there's gonna be in this one, but the last one... Basically, there was- there was too much random eye candy not done in Hammer. And, uh, somebody- somebody said... That it was unusual how much I criticized the map. Well, the reason I criticized the map was because there was too much focus on stuff you can't really do properly in Puzzle Maker, like this. The Enrichment Center has no way of knowing if whatever government remains offers any sort of cattle tuberculosis testing credit for taxes. Like in this, if died, you were to- come on, hush GLaDOS, hush! If you were to do this in Hammer, it would look a lot nicer, and it wouldn't be so distracting, but this right now is loud, noisy, obnoxious, and it doesn't look great at all, because that's not what Bmod is meant to be used for. That's- Bmod is just meant to give you more puzzle elements to use in Puzzle Maker. It's not meant to do stuff that you can do in Hammer like this. So I'd recommend not trying to make eye candy like this in Puzzle Maker or Bmod, because it's just gonna turn out bad like this. Focus instead on making good, excellent puzzles, and uh, yeah, just make good puzzles in Bmod. Don't worry about the aesthetics or anything. What the heck am I doing here? Well, we've got a couple portal surfaces here, but I don't know... what for. Yeah, see, stuff like this, this isn't- this isn't a puzzle, it's just... you just have to look for a portal surface. I wasn't much a fan of that in the main campaign either, with the whole find a portal surface thing, but at least the main campaign looked nice because it was made in Hammer. But this is just dark, and it doesn't seem right, you know. And what is even the point of this room? Look how big this room is! Like, why would- why would you make this? There- it just looks ugly and large. Hopefully the puzzle will be good anyway. Alright, so this one is the one that opens. Alright, maybe now we're getting close to the puzzle. Although the room is very large, wow. What's this button do? I don't actually know what the button did. It had no- it has no signage, so I'm guessing it does nothing. How do we actually go anywhere, though? Like, I can see this room, but I can't go. The door's closed. And that's another thing, don't use these stupid doors that close behind you, because the player assumes that they can't go back through a closed door, because you can never go back through a closed door in the main campaign. That's not open now. We can go back here, but there's no reason to. Oh, that door's open. See, there needs to be signage. That's another thing, is that if you're gonna do stuff like this, you need to put signage, not just let the player guess what stuff does. And that's the reason I'm so critical, is because these are actually flaws you can see very easily with your eyes. And that- I'm not saying anything bad about the map maker, obviously. They- they don't know better sometimes. Because, you know, it's the- it's their first maps, or they've never done this before. You know, you can't know unless you've had somebody tell you explicitly what to do and what not to do. There's not very many good tutorials about what to do and what not to do in the Portal 2 map-making community. I'm interested, though, to jump down here just to see what happens. Probably- probably bad things. But, uh, let's just hop down and see what happens. Might be an easter egg or it might be death. Let's go in this direction first, actually. Yeah, there's nothing here but a bunch of cube droppers. And a bunch of really annoying fizzling sound effects. Alright, so let's go in this direction instead. And there's nothing here but a fizzler. With a little... under area for some reason? What's down here? Oh, apparently we're doing this later. Uh, here. Yep, alright, so there's nothing here. Not even an easter egg. Let's just get out of here then. And continue on with the actual puzzle. As opposed to random eye candy nonsense that works better in Hammer. Yeah, see, stuff like this, this is just distracting. Not really much of a point to it. The actual puzzle stuff, this is stuff 
that you should focus on if you can't use hammer. What the heck is going on here? Oh, that's death! Let's not do that, please! That's most definitely death! That's, uh... Do you expect me to grab an object as it flies past? Why, though? Why is that necessary? Okay, then. What did that do for us? Who even knows? There's no signage, so I'm assuming that it did nothing. And who knows if there's anything down here? It doesn't look like it. Oh, it turned off. Oh, there is signage! Never mind. I completely misspoke there. It just could have been an antline instead. Yeah, if they're- if they're- if the elements are that close to each other, use an antline instead. Oh, come on. Well, that thing sure likes to eject me. It's because I have to crouch to get into it. Oh my gosh, that is- that is some craziness going on there. Alright, let's crouch this time. There we go. Oh. Well, this is awkward. Like, what's really the point of that? Why not just... What's even going on in this map? So far we haven't had a puzzle, we've just had random environmental stuff. Okay. Oh, that's... What is the point of this laser, though? This door doesn't even go anywhere! What? What is the point of any of this? I'm so confused. Well, anyway, we finally got to the puzzle. At least what I hope's the puzzle, but we had to get through a whole bunch of filler to even get here in the first place. Hey, look at that. Hmm. Interesting. Well, this relay... thing makes it pretty darn... obvious how things are gonna work out here. I think you can already see that we need two or three laser cubes. What the heck is that? Well, that's- that's the area we could see earlier. Also, the cube fizzling sound is really annoying. See, this is another thing, why are you hiding the funnel in a, away in a place where the player might not even notice it? Like, even though you put the signage there, it's still so dark in this room that it's hard to see anything. Especially on YouTube's compression. Oh, this is another thing. If I'm supposed to actually do this... This is, like, the most annoying... ...precise thing- there, I can do it, but it's extremely precise and annoying. Like, there's no reason to have these other relays. You could just have one relay, and then the catcher, if you want to force the player to do an exact angle like that. And there's no signage on these, so I don't know what they do. Yeah, there's no signage. There's no signage on that. No signage on this that I can see. No signage on this that I can see, no signage on this that I can see. Not, not that you'd be able to see it anyway, because of how dark it is in here. I can't get through here without using portals, so... Can't even shoot a portal. Alright. Well... Let's stay with the laser cube in the proper position, at least. Yeah, the funnel's not on, so who knows. Well, we can press this now. This seems to be related to the funnel, if I had to guess. I want to turn this to funnel... ...forward like that. Uh, inter interesting. Alright, I see what we're supposed to do here. Oh, it's one of the- it's one of the funnels that likes to re- to deactivate randomly. Like that. So let's do this. It gets us up and over. And... This button has no signage, so I'm assuming it does nothing. Absolutely nothing. This one has signage. X. What does X do? Oh, X does that. That one could've also been an antline. Hmm. Hmm. Well... Are you sure? I'm still not sure what this is all about, to be honest. To be completely and factually honest. 
think is what turned off the light bridge, maybe? But there's no signage to indicate that. I'm guessing these lasers are what turned off the light bridge. That- that'd be my guess. Well anyway, let's grab ourselves this cube while we're here. There we go, cube acquired. Will one of these turn off the big purple fizzler? No. Alright, well, we can- don't have to worry about that too much, really. Let's just walk over here and do things ourselves. Yep, the light bridge is back on, so that's probably what did it. I'm not really sure... what that portal surface is for. Maybe we need it up ahead? Oh, nope, that's the actual exit. Okay, uh... Hmm. Well, that wasn't much of a puzzle, honestly. That was just... That was just a pointless... point to laser at the catcher thing. Like, there's no challenge in there, there's no decision-making, there, there's no trying to figure out how to do it in a way to solve the puzzle. You just immediately get the cube and the laser, and you just immediately line it up with all the catchers, and it's pixel-perfect, which is not something I enjoy. And then... the faceplate just launches you up there, you press the button, you get the funnel, you funnel yourself up, sling across... Yeah, there wasn't much to this one, unfortunately. But like I said, they made this before I ever made the video in the first one, so they hadn't- they hadn't gotten any feedback. That's the other thing, is it's really hard to actually get any feedback on puzzles you make. Because a lot of people who comment on maps and stuff, they just say, good map, because they were able to solve it. The, basically, the only maps that get feedback are the ones that are way too easy. Just because of the way the community workshop works. So, uh, yeah. Now that you've had feedback, I think you should be able to start making better maps. Uh, just check out Demon Arisen's map series, or Demon Arisen's uh, video series on how to make great test chambers, and also see Rector Rox's guide if you haven't already. I think I linked those in the last episode. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!